Jagged Alliance Rage is a turn-based tactics game in which you lead a team of mercenaries on their trek across a tropical island overrun by a villainous military. There is obviously a local-led resistance force which you will have a choice in how to deal with, but the meat and potatoes of the game is combat and managing your mercenaries' health and gear. I have very strong and positive memories of Jagged Alliance 2, which I should totally make an it a classic about at a certain point, so how does Jagged Alliance Rage compare to that one? The game's tutorial is a necessity to go through, since you'll need to be aware of all the features available to you from the get-go. The combat mechanics are generally well done. You have a limited amount of aimed shots possibilities, you can engage in stealth kills as well as attracting enemy attention by whistling, which I found to be very cool because you emit sound waves every time your characters run. Using knives is quite powerful, as it would be in real life to be honest, and there are also cover and sight mechanics. Your mercenaries have a limited amount of inventory space, fairly realistic, which can be enhanced by having them wear backpacks or outfitting their gear with extra pouches which makes sense. Your mercenaries can also get injured, sick and dehydrated, all of them great additions to the combat mechanics. You're not exactly in an open world type setting though, as you had at your disposal in Jagged Alliance 2. In that one you could go exploring in whichever direction you wished. In Rage you are limited to particular routes dotted with mission objectives or simply encounters with the various factions on the island. Due to the particularities of the story, you do not get to purchase your starting weapons and gear, nor do you get to customize your own merc. Instead you have to choose one from the roster you have available, and in terms of gear you have to loot them from the enemies you down. Nothing necessarily bad with that, but this leads into a massive, major and crucial differentiation between Rage and Jagged Alliance 2. Rage has no mechanics focused on you managing your mercenaries presence on this island, in terms of having to pay them or having to keep them supplied with ammo and the like. And this turns into much larger differences slash problems I have with the game, but I'll get into those in a bit. I do have to mention that there are several links to Jagged Alliance 2, some of the mercenaries are older versions of those in the older game and the main baddie is a super amusing transplant from that game as well, but besides these things, the similarities between the two end. The fact that you have to scrunch for your gear is a really great, realistic and immersive point of the game. The problem arises when you are unable to find and then store sufficient ammo, attachments and water to keep your team going in at least an adequate operating status. The water issue is a glaring problem since it is randomly generated. With the exception of one location where you can find quite a bit of water, you're at the mercy of the RNG gods as to whether or not you find water on enemies or in other locations. And you might say, well why not go back to that location when you run out of water then? That leads me into another weird design choice slash problem. You cannot go back to previously cleared locations. For no reason whatsoever. This design choice simply boggles the mind since it breaks from the realistic approach that the devs were going for in terms of combat and health status and such. This inability to go back to places means that you can only loot as much stuff as you can carry with your mercenaries, and that's not very much, at least at the beginning. And to be honest, I would have soldiered on, but I reached a timed mission which I cannot successfully complete because I am woefully undergeared for it. I tried it around 7 times with different approaches and even if I was quite enjoying the combat, I unfortunately stopped playing the game because of this mission and the reliance on RNG to keep your troops alive. After putting in 13 hours in the game, I just didn't like it enough to restart the entire thing and play it differently. In a non-roguelike, this should not be a possibility, you should always be able to spend more time retracing your steps and gear up, than have to restart a game. So Jagged Alliance Rage is solid in terms of turn-based tactical combat, but really not great at everything else. But that's my take on it, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hey there dear watcher who is still watching, thank you very much for sticking around. I've recently started a Patreon page, so if you want and can throw a couple of bucks my way, go on there and check out the tiers and rewards. I've been Steven Nonsense, thank you very much for watching, see you next time and have a great rest of the day.